Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick video on the New York Mets making two acquisitions for their bullpen. Mike Montgomery as a small acquisition, and Adam Adovino as a bigger acquisition. Adovino got the major league deal of the bunch for one year, $4 million. In 2020, he struggled big time, but did bounce back, but had his ups and downs still. Having above 4 ERA at the end of the year, but almost pitched in 70 games for the Red Sox and was able to give them a good bit of innings out of the pen. He relies primarily on his slider sinker and fastball he does mix in a cutter curve and change he's a guy that the problem is he's above the major league average um with throwing pitches out of the zone and when you don't get the chase rate he used to get the earlier on in his career you kind of have to change your game up a little bit and with Boston it seemed like he started to at times become more of a let me just locate these in the right spot get guys swing get the contacts outs if I need them more so than what he got early in his career. And if he can continue to kind of grow into that and not go back to thinking he can do what he did in his prime, then I think he will be good for the Mets. Because with the Red Sox, it seemed like at time, since 2020 was probably the year that he that, that made him realize he kind of has to change his style to be the best he can be now. He can't be as good of a strikeout guy as much anymore at the age of 36 as he was at 28. So he's been adjusting his game, and I noticed that with Boston, if he can continue to adjust, I think he will be a fine pitcher for the Mets, and at least a guy that pitches 70 games for you and has like a 4 or below ERA, a 4.20 or below ERA, even because he was a 4.21 last year. So I think he'll be at least solid for the Mets to the potential to be very good. When it comes to Mike Montgomery, um, he's obviously a guy that suffered injuries during the course of his career, but he relies primarily on a cutter, fastball, and changeup combination, and rarely at times will mix in his sinker and curve but it's the cutter, changeup, and fastball that he relies on. Um, the or the cutter, yeah, the cutter, changeup, and fastball. I said that right. That he relies on the most. Where he's a guy that obviously has to be a guy that uses his sinking cutter to be able to get the ground balls, and a guy that uses that changeup to also be able to swing over the top of guys because he's a location artist when he's able to be on. He's not a guy that's ever going to blow it past you or do anything like that. He's always been a location specialist, Mike Montgomery, since he's entered the league. So he's a guy that I believe can fit with the Mets if they start, if he fits well and blends well with their pitching staff. But he's a guy that is going to be out of the bullpen if he can figure it out. He's a guy that for his career um, has been a solid pitcher when he's able to stay healthy and actually get into a groove. The problem for Mike Montgomery is a, a fortunately in a lot of years of his career been health, and that's what caused him to struggle in 2020. He didn't even pitch in the bigs in 2021. So hopefully here, maybe he'll get a chance to redeem himself and come back from injury and have success with the New York Mets, where they got Adam Adovino and Mike Montgomery as two solid pickups, one big one in Adovino for one year, $4 million, and a minor league deal in Montgomery, who has a lot of promise, because as long as he can stay healthy, he's been a very solid lefty locational specialist lefty in his career. Please continue to subscribe down below. Or above on the easy-to-use widget to keep the channel growing to 215 by the end of March. Have a great, safe, pleasant day, everybody. Peace out.